Good day, students, and welcome to our general mathematics class. Today, we will be discussing the following topics. Intercepts, zeros, and asymptotes of exponential functions. Solving real-life problems involving exponential functions, equations, and inequalities. For the content standards, the learners demonstrate the concepts of exponential functions. Performance standards. The learners are able to apply the concepts of exponential functions to formulate and solve real-life problems with precision and accuracy. Learning competencies. After the session, students are expected to determine the intercept zeros and asymptotes of an exponential function and solve problems involving exponential functions, equations, and inequalities. Lesson four, intercept zeros and asymptotes of exponential functions. The x-intercept is a point at which the graph crosses the x-axis, the y-value is always at zero. The y-intercept is a point at which the graph crosses the y-axis. The x-value is always at zero. The zero of an exponential function refers to the value of the independent variable x that makes the function zero. The asymptote is a line that a curve approaches arbitrarily closely. So let's have some examples. Determine the x-intercept, y-intercept, and zero of the given exponential functions. Number one, f of x equals four raised to x plus one minus two. Number two, f of x equals 2 raised to x minus 64. So let's show the solution. So for example, 1, f of x equals 4 raised to x plus 1 minus 2. So first thing to do is to find the y-intercept. Let x equal 0. Then by substitution, we have y equals 4 raised to 0 plus 1 minus 2. So in the first step, so we have to substitute 0 to x. So ito na yung magiging itsura niya after replacing 0 doon sa x. So we have y equals 4 raised to 0 plus 1 minus 2. And then simplify the exponent. So we have y equals 4 raised to, uh, y equals 4 raised to 1 minus 2. So we have y equals 4 minus 2, and then simplify, we have y equals 2. So 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. So the y-intercept is at 0, 2. To find the x-intercept, let y equals 0. Then by substitution, we have 0 equals 4 raised to x plus 1 minus 2. So, ang ginawa natin dun sa first step is nireplace natin si f of x or si y ng 0. So, for the second step, uh, by using the addition property of equality or by simply transposing negative 2 to the right, so we have 2 equals 4 raised to x plus 1. And next, by applying the one-to-one -one property of exponential function, so we have to express both sides of the exponential uh, equation na kailangan yung both sides ay may parehong base. So C4 can be expressed as 2 raised to 2. So ito na po. We have 2 raised to 1 is equal to 2 raised to 2 multiplied by x plus 1. So... Let's eliminate na po yung same base natin. So, let's copy. 
the exponent. So bring down the exponents, we have one equals two x plus two. And then by applying the additional property of equality, or by simply transposing positive one to the left and two x to the right, or let's say sabi na lang natin na uh, we can say that one is equal to two x plus two, then pwede nating sabi na two x plus two is equal to one. Commutative property of equality. And transpose positive two to the left, we have negative two, so we have two x equals one minus two, which is negative one. And then by applying the multiplication property of equality, so x equals negative one half. So thus, the x-intercept is at negative one half zero. And the zero of f of x equals four x raised to x plus, uh, uh, the zero of f of x equals four raised to x plus one minus two is x equals negative one half. Although this is the zero of our given exponential function. Next, for example, number two, we have f of x equals two raised to x minus 64. So for the solution, to find the y-intercept, let x equal zero. Then by substitution, we have y equals two raised to zero minus 64. So replace x by zero. Po. Then simplify. So we have y equals one minus 64. So diba, if a number is raised to zero, yan ay equal to one. And then simplify natin, one minus 64, we have y equals negative 63. So therefore, the y-intercept is at zero, negative 63. And for the x-intercept, let y equals zero, then by substitution, we have 0 equals 2 raised to x minus 64. Okay, and then uh, by using the uh, additional property of equality, or by simply so, uh, transposing negative 64 to the left, we have 64 equals 2, x, 2 raised to x. And by commutative property of equality, we have 2 raised to x equals 64. And then by applying one-to-one so -one property of exponential function, di ba kailangan? Uh, left and right sides of the equation, kailangan ma-express natin sa parehong base. So we have 2 raised to x equals 2 raised to 6. And then eliminate na natin yung same base, we have x equals 6. So therefore, the x-intercept is at x, uh, I mean, the x-intercept is at 6, 0. Then the seed of the function is 6. The next, determine the horizontal asymptote of each exponential function. For number one, we have f of x equals 2 raised to x. And then number two, f of x equals 2 raised to x plus 2. With the help of a table of values and a graph, so you can determine the asymptote of an exponential function. So for table one, table of values for f of x equals two raised to x. So magasay na lang tayo ng x values para makompute natin yung y values natin. So for the x values, let's use 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then for the uh, y values or yung output or yung ating result, so if x is 0, then we have 1. If x is 1, then the y is 2. And then if x is 2, so we have 4. Then 3 is 8. 4 is 16. 5 is 32. So we have 6 and then 64. 7, 1, 28. 8 and then 2, 56 for the y. And then if x is 9, then we have y as 512. Then for table 2, table of values for f of x equals 2 raised to x plus 2. So let's assume some values of x. So for x, we have negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. 
So for the values of y, so we have 2 and 1, 8, 2 and 1, 4, 2 and 1, half, 3, 4, 6, and 10. Now comparing the two, we can see that the graph of f of x equals 2 raised to x plus 2 is shifted up by two units that of the uh, that of the f of x equals 2 raised to x on the graph so here's the graph uh, for the figure one the asymptote of f of x equals 2 x 2 raised to x and f of x equals 2 raised to x plus 2 so as you can see we have y equals 2 and then y equals 0 so from the graph you can see that the horizontal asymptote of f of x equals 2 raised to x is y equals 0, while the horizontal asymptote of f of x equals 2 raised to x plus 2 is y equals 2. And for the lesson 5, solving real-life problems involving exponential functions, equations, and inequalities, exponential growth and decay, the common applications of the exponential functions. The population growth is modeled by an exponential function, which includes the growth of investment under compound interest, the increase in the number of bacteria as time passes by, and a lot more. So for example, number one, so let's have some examples. So for example, number one, Danielle deposited 5,000 pesos in an account that offers 6% interest compounded semi-annually. How much money is in his account? at the end of three years. The formula for compound interest is A equals P multiplied by one plus R over N raised to NT, where A is the final amount, is the principal or the initial amount, R is the interest rate, and is the number of times interest is compounded in one year, and T is the number of years. For the solution, given the principal is 5,000 pesos, the rate is 6% or we have 0 0.06, and then n is equal to, n is equal to 2, which semi-annually, meaning to say, dalawang beses sa isang taon, so n equals 2, and then t is equal to 3, so we have to find a. So for the formula, diba, we have A equals P multiplied by 1 plus R over N raised to NT. So substitute lang natin lahat ng values sa ating uh, formula. We have A equals 5,000 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 2. Then raise natin by 2 times 3. So by simplifying, we have A equals 5,000 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.03 raised to 6. So 0 0.06 divided by 2, we have 0 0.03 and then 2 times 3 is 6. Now by using your scientific calculators, So we have A equals 5,000. Ito pa pala, simplify pa lang muna natin. So we have 1 plus 0 0.03, we have 1.03. And using our calculators, we have A equals 5,000. So kung titignan natin, 1.03, raise natin sa 6. So that is 1.194. So multiply. So we have A equals 5,970. 26. So therefore, after three years, the amount of money in Daniel's account is 5,000 peso, uh, 5,170 pesos and 26 centavos. And then let's proceed to number two. A certain bacteria, given favorable growth conditions, grow continuously at a rate of 5.4% a day. Find the bacterial population after 20 hour, 24 hours if the initial population was 500 bacteria. When you read a problem that suggests growth continuously, 
we should be thinking continuously compounded growth formula. For this situation, the formula is A equals P sub 0 E raised to RT, where A is equal to the population after a certain period. P sub 0 is the initial production. R is the rate of change, which is great rate, uh, growth rate, but sometimes it is called decay rate. And then T is the time. So growth decay rates in context might be measured in minutes, hours, days, and etc. For the solution, given we have P is 500, R is 5.4% or 0 0.054, and T is one day. Find A. So note, 24 hours is converted to one day because the growth rate was expressed in terms of a given percentage per day. For the formula, ito yung gagamitin natin, as mentioned dun sa previous slide. Then, yung lahat ng given natin na values must be substituted dun sa formula. So we have A equals 500E raised to 0 0.54 times 1. So let's use your calculator, scientific calculators. So input nyo lang yun sa ating calculator. Then we have A equals 500 a equals 527.74. Therefore, there will be about 528 bacteria after 24 hours. And for example, three, suppose that a population of a colony of bacteria increases exponentially. At the start of the experiment, there are 1,000 bacteria. And one hour later, the population has increased to 1,200 bacteria. How long will it take for the population to reach 5,000 bacteria? Round your answer to the nearest hour. For the solution to the problem, given we have A equals 6,000, P equals 1,000, and for R, we have 200 over 1,000, which is equal to 0 0.2, find T or find the time. So we have 6,000 equals 1,000 E raised to 0 0.T, 0 0.2T. And then by quantitative property, uh, we have 1,000 E raised to 0 0.2T equals 6,000. And then by applying the Multiplica uh, multiplication property of equality, or sabihin na lang natin, divide both sides by 1,000. So we have we have equal, uh, E raised to 0 0.2T equals 6. And then let's change the given exponential equation into logarithmic equation. So we have ln E raised to 0 0.2t is equal to ln6. So we have 0 0.2t equals ln6. And uh, by uh, using the multiplication property of equality, so we have t equals ln6 over 0 0.2, or simply divide both sides of the equation by 0 0.2, so our answer is T equals or time equals 8.96. So therefore, it will take 8.96 hours to reach 5,000 bacteria. Thank you.